There's sometimes a dissonance between normal life and religious life. I think here is where it ends. It all comes together. I grew up in Stanford, Connecticut. I was born in Israel, and I grew up in uh, New York and in Florida. We made Aliyah from Baltimore, Maryland. We made Aliyah from Australia. Came from Florida. We're driving out in this windy road. We finally get here, spent one Shabbos. We saw the shul, we saw the people outside, we saw the kids having fun. And the shkafas were the same of just Eved Hashem, being a good Jew. What else can you ask for? One of my dreams is that my grandchildren should be able to come to my pantry and take what they want. So now, I, we live in Neria, and that's why we moved here. The people were beautiful, but we assumed everybody in Israel was beautiful. And then we saw the teens volunteering. And we said, this is where we want to raise our children. We were looking for a small kahila, somewhere that our kids could really be Israeli. The community life is very focused around the kids. We have children in the Ganim and they're super happy. My kids love going to school, even now during Corona, uh, when the Menahel gives a shear every morning. My kids are fighting over the computer. I want to see it. Our kids come home happy every single day from school and they're learning so much. If we asked the kids, they would say they did not enjoy going to school. <laughs> but now that they're older, they're very happy that they went to the schools they went right. to. The community here is marvelous. The people here are, are just the nicest people. They help each other. If somebody needs something, you put it on a WhatsApp, and within three seconds, you have an answer. It doesn't matter what it is. I need a heater. I don't have energy to cook for Shabbat. The whole meal is organized. It's unbelievable, the level of chesed here. We have a younger brother with Tismonet Down. A few years ago, we decided, my sister and I, it was time we had to bring him here to live here. My parents couldn't take care of him anymore. The Moatza stepped up and the Kihila here and supporting us and taking care of us. And now my brother lives here and he walks between our two houses and everybody here knows him. And teenagers that take him out twice a week and on Shabbat, they bring him into their games and he could walk by himself everywhere. He knows his way around. He stops at different neighbors. If he's hungry, he'll go to that person because he likes their schnitzel. He goes to that person, he likes their challenge. And just seeing how the Kihila here stood up and took care of us and helped us while we brought him here and went through everything, it's really amazing for him here. Here we are, we're together again. As far as religious life is concerned, there's no, nothing lacking here. You have people that are tremendous, tremendous Talmidei Chachamim who Motzei Shabbat are on the basketball courts. They go to their jobs, whether they're lawyers, they're doctors, they're in high tech or they're teachers, but they live Torah Judaism to the fullest. It's so true and so much better than what I said, I have to say. <laughs> Although there are many different types of people, um, you can always find your niche. We have over 30 committees and uh, we have over 200 people volunteering in the community. There's a lot of activity also for people of our age. Being invited to other Israelis' homes who don't speak any English um, but understand the sacrifices we've made to leave our family behind and to come to Eretz Yisrael is something, such an amazing uh, connection, an amazing feeling you have. In terms of the community, you have a choice. Either commute in the city a half an hour in congestion or commute for an hour either to Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. But then when you start the day, you start with fresh air. And when you end the day, you start in an open expanse community. In Neria, you feel unlimited by the view and you feel unlimited inside. The weather here is amazing. The geographical beauty of the area is out of this world. It's like a total blessing being here. I go rollerblading around the area here. We take the kids out, the kids go biking. The hills all around us to sit and to enjoy the time with your family. On Fridays, you'll see tons of neighbors and friends at the springs. I didn't grow up like that. And to see my kids growing up like this, it's amazing, it's beautiful, I love it. We feel like we found our home. It was one of the best decisions that we've made. It's not just, you know, we made Aliyah, but it's that we're Israeli, we're home. So everybody come back home. We're waiting for you right here. <laughs> Bonnie, you're living the dream? <laughs> Are you living the dream? <laughs>